Saturday morning, October 2nd. Um, sun is just coming up. I'm gonna go do some blue lining today. If you're not familiar what blue lining is, it's basically um, stateless, although wild trout rivers, and you can look them up on a map, and they're all listed as blue lines. So it's, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. You have, really don't know if there's gonna be any fish there. You just know that there were at one point. Um, you know, depending on the time of year and how the water flows are, uh, temperature, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go do some searching. I got a couple places to look and uh, see if we can catch some fish. All right, here we go. first spot uh, technically this is my second the first place I went was posted so I couldn't fish there but I found this other spot which looks really nice and it's on state land so it should be good so let's give it a shot found this gorgeous spot just hiking up the stream a little bit really cool waterfall nice little pool right here the water is kind of murky so I'm not sure I'm gonna have much luck but I'm gonna try it um, I don't I'm gonna stay on this side of this tree to maybe I can avoid spooking the fish and uh, see if we can find something in here So, by the way, I'm using a three-weight fiberglass rod that I just got this year. I really like. It's nice for these small streams. It's shorter. It's like seven. I want to say it's seven foot. So you don't have to worry as much about getting snagged behind you. Although I do have lots of trees behind me. So I can't really back cast right now. Uh, I might try to get up a little bit and do some roll casting. I'm probably while trying to cast out here, I'm probably spooking all the fish. So I'll move on, see if I can find another spot. Walking down the, the stream and come across a flat screen TV. Not something you see on a wild trout stream every day. Uh, we have had a lot of rain and hurricanes lately, so it got pretty flooded. But still kind of surprised to see a fairly large flat screen TV. The good news is I've seen some bugs coming off, or at least flying around. The bad news is they're mosquitoes. So I could tie on a mosquito pattern, but I think I'm gonna stick with the, the blue winged olive. I found a, it looks like a decent little pool in there. Let's see if I can sneak up into there without spooking any fish and give it a shot. No luck so far. I managed to get some good casts into this little pool. I'd be surprised if there's no fish in here. But uh, it's, it is a very pretty spot. The water flowing down. It's nice to kind of just sit here. The weather's warming up. And uh, it's just nice to be outside. You don't always have to catch fish to have fun. Well, here, I don't know if you can see. I can't really see my fly, but 
I'm just letting it I'm roll casting out right into the middle of that current. Letting it float down, roll casting back. Give it a little movement. Sometimes that attracts a hit. Sometimes it scares the fish. So, you know. All right, I found another really beautiful spot to fish. The sun's coming up and hitting the water just right. It's just gorgeous to sit here and look at the water. But there's no, no fish biting my flies. So that's a bummer, but gotta assume they're in here. These are looking like pretty good spots. They just might not like what I'm giving them. I might be spooking them. The water's a little murky. They might not see it. All kinds of stuff. But I haven't had a single bite. I haven't seen anything rising. And I might just call it a day on this stream. called it quits on the last place some really nice looking water there it was a little on the fast side and a little muddy um, but they should have been fishing there I really thought I really thought I'd catch something and I um, maybe it was the wrong time of year maybe spring works better or summer the water dies down a little bit but anyway I'm gonna try another spot that I thought looks really good um, and maybe I'll have a little bit better luck it's warm it's definitely warming up it's almost 10 o'clock sun is blaring down it's a beautiful day and uh, maybe some bugs will be coming off I did see a couple come off at the last place near the end I wasn't sure exactly what they were but um, this place I'm going to now hopefully I'll have some better luck all right here we go I made it to the next stream this one looks better nice and clear easy casting but I'll take a walk up, see if I can find some holes to fish, maybe catch something. Alright, I found this nice little hole right here, for a waterfall. Somebody's house is up there, but I don't see any posted signs. So we're going to give this spot a, a chance. There's a bunch of logs in the water that I could definitely snag on. So I'm not looking forward to that. But let's see what we can do. Make a couple of casts out here. It's much clearer in this stream than it was at the last one. So I'm gonna try to park it right here. There's definitely some bugs coming off too. Oh, oh, I had a hit. I, I just missed him. That's a good sign. There's fish in here. No more luck on the blue winged olive. Fished it for a little while. Switching to a, um, an elk hair caddis, a small one. I did see a caddis fly off the water. There's only one, but at least they're here. So uh, let's give this one a shot. All right, tried the cows for a while, that didn't get anything. Now we're going with uh, Chubby Chernobyl. See if that can get them to come up to the top. It's a big guy, he makes a big splash. It can either be a good thing or a bad thing. It's either gonna scare them all away very well probably will do or they'll see it and they'll come from further away to come get it it's a line up get out there come on 
All right, I got one. He's a little guy. Oh, he's such a little brookie. All right, little guy. All right. First little wild brookie in here. Wet her hand first before we touch the fish. Oh yeah, he nailed this thing. Oh, look at that guy. That was a beautiful, little, tiny, Rookie. Oh, ho, ho, I missed one. Uh, oh, oh, ho, ho, they're nailing them now. It's probably the same fish. It was a little guy. Oh, got him. All right. Oh, he's, oh, he let go. <laughs> he was tiny. He's just like the last one. He's a really tiny fish. Oh, oh I, I tried to cast and I, I had one on. God damn it. Oh, oh, he won't hold on to the fly. He wants it so bad. I've caught this fish like three times. He just missed it there. I don't know why I'm even trying to catch him. He's so small. Oh. <laughs> Got it again. Loves this fly. <laughs> there he goes. He must be like two inches. <laughs> It's kind of fun. He's trying to take it, it's just too big for him. I think it might be done. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I got him. Oh, that's a slightly better one than my last one. All right. All wrapped up here. Oh, twisted. Here we go. All right. Oh, that was quite a fight with the hand. Oh, he's a slightly bigger fish than the last one. Not quite as good colors. Get the white tips on his fins. Pretty cool. Nice wild rookie. Get the uh, tiger striping on the back. Yeah. All right. And this looks like a really nice hole. I bet there's some brook trout in here. Cast in, no takers. There we go. Oh yeah. 
He's tiny. Here they go. I think. He's still in there. Ah, uh, come here, little guy. All right. Got him. All right. I was correct that this hole had some fish. That's a little guy. Come on. In your mouth. Another little one. Pretty though. Right. There you go home. All right. Excellent. This is a nice little hole. I'll see if we can catch another one out of here. Another one, look at the little guy, no brookie. Let's take a look. Yeah. Little brookie with pretty red spots. Just gonna get those halos. afternoon I uh, got to go home and have some lunch but um, overall ended up being a pretty fun day blue lining first uh, first river didn't work out it was posted second one was beautiful found some really nice waterfalls uh, but no fish at least that I could find and then this last place I stopped at caught quite a few little teeny brookies um, beautiful fish I love brook trout um, I did catch, uh, I don't know, four or five. I caught a couple other ones or I hooked them and played them for a little bit and let go. Uh, I ended up catching my last one on a uh, muddler minnow, which I don't know if I've ever caught anything on before. But um, yeah, it was, this, was, this was a really nice little stream and I look forward to coming back and maybe try to find some, uh, some more good pools upstream. But uh, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will be back soon. Bye. Off for now. Mm -hmm.